Hi everyone, it's Friday. Um, today I'm here to share some Rolodex cards that I made for a swap. I'm in a Facebook group that um, does a lot of memory decks cards and memory decks is from Heidi Swap. Um, I just found out about this group maybe a month ago and I've been really wanting to get started and get into it but I wanted <clears throat> to get the dies and and I think there's a there no there's a there's a hole punch that punches these two holes. Now the only thing that I do not have is the box Heidi Swaps box. I I think I'm gonna make my own box maybe some other time. But right now I just want to make my uh, Rolodex cards. So. While I was, I was, I, you know, when you have so much stuff, you do not have motivation <laughs> or inspiration. It's just overwhelming. And, uh, and that's what I've been, that's what I've been going through. And I've been trying not to buy stuff, but I keep buying and, oh God. Anyway, and I have a pile of stuff that I want to sell. And I see a lot of people selling their stuff and I'm just like, well, I don't even know if anybody's going to buy it from me. Um, and it's a bunch of stamps and some old dies and, oh, uh, I th think chipboard, um, albums and, and, and things like that. Anyway, so while I was away and I didn't get to, um, participate in Paige and Peg Peggy's, um, card challenge this month because I just ran out of time and, we were going away <clears throat> um, for a couple days and I, uh, I did not get my cards in on time. So I will be definitely back on the game in March, um, in May, um, um, card challenge and um, I still want to do the Christmas cards at the end of the, this month. So maybe I might be able to do that. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> Keep, you know, keep a lookout. Um, okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby while I was up in Maryland, and I found these two paper pads. Um, there was another. Pa there was another paper pad I wanted. I didn't really want the In Bloom set. Um, it was pretty gorgeous paper. I just, I just didn't. I knew I wasn't going to use them because I'm more vintage and. Um, so these two were perfect and they were 50% off. So I think I got it for four something. This is nine, maybe four fifty for, for each of these. So I thought that was pretty good. And you get 120 pa pieces of paper. So not bad. And I like this size. I'm trying to keep this size more than the 12 by 12 sheets. So, so memory box, memory decks or roller decks cards is what I'm here today to share. These are my memory decks that I made for my partner, and we're in a I'm in a swap over at Memory Deck Swaps on Facebook, and uh, I signed up, and we had to do four cards. Um, my partner didn't care what theme or or anything, and she just said to do whatever I wanted, and this is what I came up with. <laughs> so. Some of them have tabs and some of them don't. This one does not because I was trying to use up that chipboard. It was like a long sheet of chipboard of uh, packaging. Um, and this is really thin chipboard, which I think is perfect for the um, memory decks box that Heidi Swap has. And not I don't own one, but um, I'm going to stick these in my... Um, handmade or my book Rolodex that I, I made and if you follow me on face not Facebook but on Instagram you might have seen that so I distressed the edges with black soot and walnut stain and vintage photo I also did that to this um, speech bubble chipboard piece that I got from recollections I want to say it was a couple years ago <laughs> um, added some lace from my stash um, this is a ribbon 
from my stash as well that I made into a bow, I added some blue um, dew drops. I think that's what they were called at one time. Don't have the packaging anymore. <laughs> um, so that's my first one. And this one is just a three by four size card. And then this is the back of it. I love that wood grain. Wood grain! Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of it before. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> I embossed um, this stamp. And um, if you have gotten these when Michael's had their dollar stamps way back when, this is what I used. And I embossed it with detailed black and um, embossing powder. I love how that shines. So that is that. Next, um, I used the paper that I showed you. Um, this is some ribbon from my stash, some ruler ribbon. Um, this is some lace from my stash. This is from Recollections that I bought a couple years ago. So I'm just trying to use up what I have. I'm not trying to go out and buy. The only thing that I did buy is the die to cut these out and the punch to punch out the paper. Um, so I did do that. Um, so that's it for this one. Let me show you the back because it's so pretty. So that's that. And oh, I did layer a tag. It's, oh gosh, I don't have it here, but it's a paper tag um, that's just layered in the background. It's so cute. Um, and then this one says inspired. The same thing, distressed all the edges, added some bling some crochet um, lace and a black and cream um, ribbon that I tied in a bow. So and this is the back of the paper. And I'm going to add my information on the back here for my partner. Um, and that's that one. And my last one is Hope. And I added some bling. I think this was from Michael's back when. Um, more bling from my stash. Lace. There's a sparkly ribbon that I totally covered up. I shouldn't have. Um, you can't even see it anymore. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so there's some sparkly ribbon in the back. Um, distress the edges all over. Uh, emboss hope to it. It has like a... I try to dust that off, but I think I like it. I don't... I think it's cool. So that is that, and then the back is this paper. So pretty. Okay, so that is my Rolodex Memory Dex cards for my swap, swap partner. So um, thanks everyone for stopping by and watching my videos. I hope you like and be inspired. Um, be inspired. <laughs> um, I will have the link down below if you'd like to join our swaps over at on Facebook. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day. Bye.